hello viewers welcome back to my kitchen once again today i'm gonna be cooking gravy i'm gonna be making gravy so let's get started hope you guys are doing good thank you very much for watching the video and also subscribing and liking and giving comments let's start the ingredients for this recipe the gravy i have onions bell pepper garlic ginger carabash nuts milk rosemary tomato paste and tomato puree and i have oil and salt to taste i have curry powder and i have turmeric powder let's get started i have my oil on fire and i can see it's hot so i'm going to be adding the branded onion garlic ginger rosemary and my bell pepper one thing i normally do is if you really want your gravy to cook fast you have to add more oil and after that after the gravy is done you can scoop some of the oil out of it so that's what i do i have a lot of oil so that the gravy can cook fast As you can see, the onion, garlic, ginger, and the pepper is really nice and cooked. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomato puree. And I'm gonna allow it to cook for about 10 minutes. Tomatoes gravy sometimes can make really mess, so I cover it and I'm taking the lid off so that we can check how the gravy is coming up. You can see it's nicely cooking. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomato paste. You have to be careful stirring it. Adding my tomato paste. I really like making gravy, although it makes really mess and it takes a long time to make it, but also it really helps because anytime I want to make jollof rice, I just go ahead and take some of it, and it's easy for me to cook my jollof rice because I have made the gravy already. And also, if I wanted to turn it to stew, I just take some of it and add my meat or my fish. And here I go, and my cooking is so easy when you have already made the gravy. So I've added the tomato paste, and I'm going to allow it to cook for about 45 minutes. And I will go ahead and add all my spices to it. The gravy is cooking nicely as you can see all the mess on the stove yeah it's really make a mess so I mostly put the lid on it so as you can see our gravy is cooking nicely and it smells really good so I'm gonna add my bay leaf And I'll go ahead and put the lid on it. And I'll allow it, it to continue to cook. Mm. 
let's check our gravy yeah it's nicely cooking i have a little bit of grated nut milk for flavor and i have about half teaspoon of curry powder and half teaspoon of turmeric powder I mostly like adding the nuts milk for flavor, so it's optional. And I will salt everything, look all right. So I'm going to allow it to cook for about 20 minutes and our gravy is ready. Our gravy it's almost ready. I'm going to go ahead and garnish it with bell pepper and some sliced onion. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat because I want the bell pepper and the onion to be crunchy. I don't want it to get cooked. I want it fresh like that in the gravy so that when you are eating, you can hear the sound. Grew, grew. <laughs> That's the way I want it. I want it really crunchy. So, as now, our gravy. It's ready. The gravy is ready. The sliced bell pepper and the sliced onion is optional. You can decide not to add anything. So right now, as my gravy is ready, you can bake chicken and eat it with rice. You can fry fish and eat it with rice, banku, and pesie, plantain, or anything you want to eat it with it. It's really good. The, the flavor smells really good and the taste too is really nice. The gravy smells good. It's ready. And I have here my fried fish. Then I'm going to eat it. So the fried fish is right here and the gravy is ready too. So thank you very much for watching. And I hope you try this recipe. Leave a comment. Subscribe to this channel. And stay blessed. I will see you next time for more videos. Bye-bye.